Hi, I'm Jim from Left Wing Libertarian. And I am Anna from BeautyGirlsMom.com. Today in our continuation of weddings, we're going to talk about something that I personally don't like, renting tuxedos, mm -hmm. but apparently there's something new or different. You can um, rent the dress. I don't know if it's new or different. There has been a, a company called Rent the Runway available for at least a few years that I'm aware of, but there are other companies that are picking up on this bridesmaid gown rental service. So instead of taking you know your bridesmaids out and spending 150, 200, 300 dollars on a dress that most of the time they can only wear once, now they can do the same thing that groomsmen, you know, ushers have always been able to do and rent their formal wear for the day for about $75, $95, and then return it after they're finished using it. Now, that requires a style of dress that either has things like drawstrings or drawstrings or ties in it, or it to be, you know, size 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, um, which I imagine probably takes more inventory for the store, because like men's tuxedos um, have things like adjustable waistline, waistbands, or mm -hmm. they temporarily hem up the inseam of the pants with a... Uh, uh, you know the tape that you iron mm -hmm. uh, to adjust it to fit and you know really it doesn't make that much of a difference if it's a little bag it's hidden under your jacket um, women's dresses are different though I mean they have to fit like women's fit. dresses are different and I think most of the most of the companies that I looked into um, are doing kind of one of two things they're keeping their style of dress very limited so, you know, you might be able to walk into a, dry, a bridal store and choose from a hundred different bridesmaid gowns. If you go to some of these services, you might only be able to choose from six different styles. Those six different styles might only be available in six different colors. So it, again, instead of going into a bridal store where you might have a rack of a hundred different gowns that you can pretty much choose in any color that you want, you're going to be limited to these few styles and these few colors. Um, so that's the first thing that I've noticed about them. But as a, as a, as a guy, I mean, aren't, are there really that many different styles of bridesmaids dresses? I mean, either they have the big poofy thing above the shoulder, or it's a flat shoulder, or it's a strap on the shoulder. I mean, isn't that... Well, I, you know... And then a big bow on the side of the left or right. I think there are probably as many different styles of bridesmaids as there are brides. I mean, there are, you know, strapless ones that have spaghetti straps, ones that have tank straps, halter tops, cap sleeves, you know regular sleeves, three-quarter sleeves, long sleeves, long gowns, short gowns, T-length gowns, gowns that can, um, uh, which I've seen at a couple weddings where the, it looks like they're wearing a gown when they're at the church, you know, in the formal part of the wedding, and then they have a belt, and the belt un does, and they have a short dress on for the reception. So yeah, there's, there's, I can't even imagine how many different styles of wedding gown. But aside from there just being styles, there's so many colors that you could choose from. Um, but again, a lot of these bridesmaid gown rental places, they're choosing the simplest of dress styles so that they work well with, you know, the, the most shapes. I won't say all shapes because honestly, not all dresses work for all shapes, but they do. They keep their inventory under control that way limited styles, limited colors, and a style of dress that would be appropriate for pretty much anybody. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 might become 4, 10, 4, 12, and then you adjust it with a band or a belt or something. Or it's a yeah, and there's probably something that they could do, you know, for a girl who is maybe a size 6 or a size 8, and the gown they have only comes in a 10, you know, maybe that's a style that has a belt that you know, you're supposed to have it blousey at the top, so it's not gonna look that bad if it's a size too big. Um, Are or, you as a woman gonna notice if somebody who's a six is wearing an eight or a 10 that's cinched with a belt? You know, if it's if somebody is a is a, an eight and goes into a 10, I don't think I would notice. If you go a lot smaller than that, I think you would start to notice that it would look too big. But I'm sure there's something that they can do similar to what they do with men's tuxedos. There must be like a quick hem thing that they could do. Um, and again, women have the option of higher shoes. You or know, even a quick hem, but a temporary hem. A temporary like. hem. Um, they could wear higher heel shoes. Um, you know, there are there are some things that you can do. You know, a, a more padded bra, so that if the top is too big, you know, filling out your your chest size a little bit will help with that. Um, I guess my big thing about it is, I've been in a couple weddings. I've certainly had. Uh, bridesmaids dresses that I would never ever wear again um, they're not that expensive 
Um, I know they can be very expensive, but I've been fortunate to have brides that have, you know, chosen pretty conservatively to make sure that most of the bridesmaids can afford them. Well, let's compare it to a tux, though. I mean, a tuxedo rental averages about one third of the cost of a tux. Okay. Economically, I do not understand why anybody would rent a tux. Because a tux is something that you can use, you know, wedding, you can use it at the next wedding you go to, you can use it at your own wedding, you can use it at a funeral, you can wear it at a formal party, you can wear it at New Year's Eve. I mean, it's, once you, you would take it on a cruise. Mm -hmm. I mean, once you have it, it's in your, it's a, it's a piece of clothing that just doesn't go out of style, especially if you don't get one that doesn't go out of style. Um, so we can get rid of the powder blue <laughs> one with the ruffled shirt that we have in the closet upstairs. You know, the guy who's paying for the wedding gets the final say. Yeah. Because he writes um, the check. You know, I, I think the difference is that tuxedos tend to just stay at that very classic, you know, it, you don't see any more the powder blue, you know, there. but even when there were powder blue tuxedos with the big ruffles, you could always go with the classic black tuxedo, you know, the black jacket, the black slacks. Um, but, you know, a more subdued shirt. Yeah, I mean, if, if a wedding is your only time and you've never been to another one and you just don't see another one coming, maybe renting a tux saves you 200 bucks. Mm -hmm. um, but you're talking about, I mean, even if the rental is 75 to 100 and the dress is going to cost you 100 to 150, um, I mean, it seems to me that inherently these aren't $10,000 dresses. They're no, for, dresses, for which... most bridesmaids, it's not a $10,000 purchase. Now, you know, I have watched my share of wedding shows and wedding, you know, say yes to the dress, that kind of show. I have seen brides that will go into the bridal salon and will fall in love with a $500 bridesmaid dress. But again, if you're the bride, take into consideration the people that you're asking to be bridesmaids. Well, hold on. Doesn't that open up the can of worms of all sorts of things like... You know, the stereotypical, you know, someone who goes bridesmaid shopping so that they all look good in the pictures. You know, I mean, those sort of... Well, we're not even going to go into that. You know, how, you choose, your, how you choose your bridesmaids is entirely up to you. But you do want to take into consideration, you know, that the, the dress is the least of, of what their expenses are going to be. They also are going to incur expenses to come to your wedding. They have to give you a gift. Their in hair most and cases, yeah, their hair and makeup. In the most shoes. cases, they also throw a, a bridal shower for you. So there's going to be some expense there. So if, if the rental option turns out to be a viable option for you, your group of bridesmaids by all means consider one of the services out there um uh weddington.com is one of them um union avenue I, i'm not even sure the name of the website and i apologize because i should have had it handy another place that rents dresses um and again rent the runway will maybe not have every dress in every size but if you have a small bridal party or alternatively which is what we did if you just choose a color, your bridesmaids can go on Rent the well, Runway say, and was, choose a gown that suits their body and they like. in the color that you choose. Well, in your color, but in the style they like. In a style And I guess like. that's kind of the thing. When you're, If you're standing right next to five women wearing the same dress, the same color, but a different style, you're going to notice it. But years later, do you notice it in the pictures? I mean, is it something that stands out from your, your day, or is it something that's just lost in the pictures? I don't, I don't know if it stands out. I mean... We've looked at our wedding pictures time and again. You know, there is one that's kind of an off shade of the color that we chose because we did that. We chose the color, yeah, let everybody color choose their dresses. Say, color um, so there is one that's kind of a shade off. I don't think it's it's that big of a deal. My sister Megan, when she got married, she chose a color for all for all of her bridesmaids, which you know at the time was her best friend Jewel and all three of our daughters. So you had people that ranged in age from thirty down to. I think Ronnie Well was eight like at the time. Age, so, you know, not not one specific dress was going to work for everybody. Jewel had, uh, you know, breast cancer um, surgery and had a port and, you know, had things going on that she wanted to make sure she had full coverage on the top. Um, Bridget, I think she was a little less, you know, a less... I, I don't even know how to say it. She was not as choosy about what the top of the dress looked like. I think, did, uh, Eilish, did Bridget's not have any straps on it? Bridget's was strapless. Mine Hers was, was strapless. Top. Eilish's was a halter top. And Granny Wells had spaghetti straps. So all four of the girls in the wedding had different, different styles, different tops of their dresses. I think the wedding pictures turned out beautiful. They're all in the same shade of pink. Well, I guess they that's all the look thing. very nice. If and they... most of them wore the dresses... Again, but they, I mean, if they look good in the dress, that's better than them matching, isn't it? 
I, I think that that is more important than all of your dresses matching. I totally in favor of, you know, picking a color and letting the girls choose the dress that they feel most comfortable in. And again, maybe the dress that you absolutely love with all your bedazzling and everything is going to be out of their budget. And now they're going to be faced with the choice of disappointing you as their friend and telling you, you know, look, I can't be a bridesmaid. I cannot afford all these expenses. Or, you know, you let them choose a dress in your color that maybe is a little bit more affordable to them or maybe they opt to run, rent something. Well, I think that's also the point because, you know, the largest generation in our country is the millennials. They are more educated, going to college more than the previous generations. They're on social media more. They're working. So the, the networks of where they're going to meet people are more diverse. It's not like the group of five friends who are all taking turns getting married and being each other's bridesmaid. No, I mean, it's it's totally possible that you now have bridesmaids that are coming from all over the country. You know, if something were to happen to you, God forbid, and I was to get remarried, God forbid, um, you know, I would choose my bridesmaids maybe from, you know, my friends from the mom's panel, for example, and they do live all over the country, all over the world. So... You know, and I know they all look fabulous in pink taffeta, but, you know, I would probably say to them, here's the color, <clears throat> go choose a dress. And I think a lot of brides do that now because it is, it comes down to dollars and cents. You know, what can your bridesmaids afford? What are they going to feel comfortable in? I thought you would in? just put all the princesses in a bowl and they would each pick one and then that's the dress they that's had to wear. That's the dress they would Yeah, they had to wear something the bell. Something to keep in mind or, yeah. if something ever happens to you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Kathy Schakowsky, what, which princess? could you wear with that white muff um you know i don't know i think it's i think that's the best way to go but definitely if if money is a factor there's, for nothing, under, there's nothing wrong with it i think that's the thing and yeah for under a hundred dollars your bridesmaids can rent a dress that would be totally fine for your wedding there are a lot of places right now where you can borrow clothes Gwynnie b you can borrow clothes women are doing this so it's not that uncommon to wear clothes that another woman has had on. Well, I think that's what started this because there happened to be a news story yesterday and I was like, hey, look at this new thing. And what you're saying is this isn't new at all. No, I don't think the clothing rental thing is, is a new thing. There are services, again, Rent the Runway has been for several years. Um, but there's and more of them now. It's, it's becoming more. It is becoming more and more popular. Okay. So if it's an option for your bridesmaids that make being a part of your special day in the way that you want them to be a part more affordable it makes it so that they're not feeling stressed over the money for under a hundred dollars you can rent a dress um in a color of your choosing that you know will enable some of your bridesmaids to, to participate a little more freely without you know spending two or three hundred dollars on a dress that goes in the trash the day after your wedding all right all right, I am Anna from beautygirlsmom.com. If you'd like to subscribe, just click the button wherever it appears on your screen. We'll see you real soon.